Hello sports entertainment enthusiasts and welcome back to Kayfabe News, the only source of real wrestling journalism left now that Dave Meltzer has been exposed for what he really is. An infinite number of monkeys pounding away on typewriters while watching reruns of Sunday Night Heat. My name is Flipping Marks, a third generation journalism superstar just trying to follow in the footsteps of my dad and granddad, Karl Marx and Groucho Marx. Don't bother doing the math, trust me, it all checks out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and then, when the referee's back is turned, hit the subscribe button on the computer of a co-worker, classmate, friend or cellmate. Because I assume you're in jail. Tonight's top stories. Did CM Punk appear under the skies at Crown Jewel in a country near Egypt? And following the success of Crown Jewel, WWE has announced a series of upcoming events in another contentious location. And for tonight's top story, it does seem that CM Punk, the former world wrestling entertainment superstar who quit the company in 2014, may have secretly returned to WWE. According to a backstage source who, for the sake of anonymity, asked to be identified only as Cassius O, a masked CM Punk performed as the Sin Cara persona at last month's Crown Jewel event in a sunny desert somewhere. Punk has reportedly been venturing back into the world of sports entertainment, having performed a GTS while wearing a mask at an independent event last year. And you remember that, it made the internet blow it up. Eagle-eyed viewers of the Crown Jewel pre-show Battle Royal noticed that Sin Cara had a telltale tattoo of a Pepsi logo on his upper arm, which is one of the many product placement tattoos Punk has gotten as part of a lucrative endorsement deal. And um, by the way, I would like something like that. Several fans sitting at ringside, including long-haired Simon, his mum and green smiley shirt guy, heard Sin Cara holler best in the world while being thrown out of the match. Punk, who has only lost two fights in his UFC career, has neither confirmed nor denied these allegations that he is returning to WWE. We, of course, will interpret this non-comment as a full confirmation that he has indeed re-signed with WWE and will clash with Triple H at WrestleMania. I've already put it on Reddit. <laughs> Now the Crown Jewel news, it seems that after WWE's great successes with events in a country near Jordan, the company has secured a deal to host a series of pay-per-views in the Middle Earth capital of Mordor. The events, reportedly to be called King of the One Ring to Rule Them All, will be held in Samath Nor, or the Chambers of Fire, atop Mount Doom, and broadcast live on the WWE Network. During a press conference this morning held outside Mordor's Black Gate, WWE mogul Vince McMahon was joined by Sauron, who is the ruler of Mordor, and former Chief Lieutenant Dark Lord Morgoth. Here's what he had to say. Well, quite frankly, Lord Sauron and WWE will be more powerful than all the Orc enemies of Numenor, quite frankly, pal. Quite frankly, I like Sauron's style, quite frankly. By joining forces for the King of the One Ring to rule them all, Lord Sauron and I will be more powerful, quite frankly, than the great armies of Numenor. Quite frankly, pal. Sauron, clad in a suit of armor and a red make Middle Earth great again baseball cap, said, and I quote, Venia Villa Walnanima na WWE Quanta as Gobalunum, which apparently translates from the Quinoa language into English as WWE will do wonders for Mordor's economy and for evil in general. The event will be held on the 73rd day of Harvest Math. That's the February 27th, 2002 in our calendars, and is rumored to include several marquee matches, including Brock Lesnar versus Golif and Ball, the chief town of the Orcs of Mount Graham, Braun Strowman versus Grishnak, the Orc captain of the Plains of Rohan, Natalia versus Primula Brandybuck in a historic first time bout between a human female and a hobbit in the traditionally patriarchal Middle Earth, and we will also have an over the top battle royal featuring 10,000 orcs, elves, goblins, river spirits, dwarves, balrogs, and Zack Ryder. I, for one, cannot wait for the king of the One Ring to rule them all, and I hereby pronounce my allegiance to Lord Sauron, and of course, re pledge my allegiance to Mr. McMahon. 
And that, thankfully, is all we have time for tonight. Again, be sure to subscribe, or I will personally come to your house and force you to watch the entire episodes of Total Bellas at full volume. You have been warned. Remember, it's not fake news. It's unreal.